Hey, what's up, Rebels? This is Confire Rich, and we're here to talk about Star Wars Battlefront Beta. We survived on Tatooine. We have protected and captured pods on Solist. We even took down a few Imperial Walkers on Hoth. Now, the real question is, was it a good beta? Well, let's jump into some gameplay, and we'll talk about it. The answer to that question is yes, it is a good beta. I thought it was a very good beta. As far as I'm concerned, it did the two things that a beta is supposed to do, which is one, test the game out to make sure there's no problems. And two, get you hyped for the game when it comes out. As far as problems go for a beta, I thought the game ran practically flawless, especially considering that one of the game modes had 40 people on there and I experienced no lag, no problems with the game, no glitches, or anything that I found. The only problem I had with this game was the matchmaking and the party system. I actually couldn't stand it. It allowed me to have one partner, and then we would go into a game together, and that was it. If I had a party of four or five, it just got to be a little bit more difficult. We had to join a match, and then a friend had to join of us, hope there was enough room, and hope to put us in there. Sometimes I would join my friend, and it would say I was in that server, but then it would put me in a completely different game I'd have to close out the app and reset and go back in and you know problems like that are to be expected with the beta I hope that partnering system and the party system is changed for the launch of the real game as far as the beta though it was fine and it was great now things that I liked about it you were in a Star Wars game and it felt like it these environments that you had us in it was amazing everything Every map that you had it on, there was a battle going on in the background. You would see a Star Destroyer, you would see ships exploding in the background to just really enhance the environment a lot, and I love that. I thought it was great. I thought visually this game was stunning. It had three game modes, and out of those three game modes, you had three maps, and I love playing every single one of them. I played this game a lot, and when I wasn't playing this game, I was thinking about when the next time was I could get on the game. So that covers the height factor. Let's jump in real quick and talk about the three game modes. First, we start off on Tatooine in survival mode. If you're familiar with FPS at all, this is simple, basic. You, you're getting different waves of bad guys, and with each wave, they get progressively tougher. Um, nothing out of the box here. You only got to go to six rounds, which, which I thought was good for beta because I wanted more. I can't wait for the release of this game to come out so that I can play more rounds, harder rounds, and bump the difficulty up. Next, we have um, Drop Zone on Solus. This was my favorite game mode out of this beta. The 8v8 was perfect for me. It, you know, you was able to control the area, get into a lot of gunfights, close range gunfights, long range gunfights. It was a lot of fun. Basically, the objective is you jump on a pod, you protect it, and the first people who got the 5 won. It was just that simple, but it was high action packed, and you just kept on going. Third game mode is Walker Assault on Hoth, and this was probably the best looking map that they had. It was it was amazing. This is where all the crazy stuff went down. You saw the ATSTs, you saw the ATAT, X wings, Y bombers. I mean, they had them. They had them all. It was coming in. I saw some some great stuff. Planes flying in. Planes crashing into AT guys everywhere um it was battlefront and like i said it made you feel like you was in that environment you really felt like you was in echo base this game is amazing for it just to be a beta and for me to only play three maps i was highly addicted to this game if you're thinking at all about getting this game definitely give it a chance if you like star wars or fps this is something you need to check out this game gets two thumbs up from me that's basically all we have. What did you guys think about the game? If you played it, if not, are you excited about it? I hope to see you soon. Until next time, I'm out.